What's up YouTube, it's Marvin Kentucky back from another video. Uh, this is going to be a little quick video, a little quick pickup video. Show some cards I've been picking up over the last mm, month, month and a half. Uh, some of these cards, I uh, can't even remember what I gave for some of them, but I um, got these off of, uh, most of them off of eBay. Um, first cards I want to show you uh, is these pretty cool Otani rookie cards. These came out of the Angels team set. So I bought two Angels team sets, the 2018 uh, Angels team sets. Uh, they were $9 a set, uh, $8.99 actually, and they shipped for free. But uh, I bought two of these because it's, uh, I don't know how rare, rare this rookie card is, but it's a pretty cool shot of Otani batting. Uh, I got two of these things. Um, team set A17, Angel 17 would be the card number on this. But he's off to a heck of a start this year. And this is these are the first... Otani rookie cards that I've actually purchased everything else I pulled out of packs I, did, I didn't believe the hype I didn't really believe that he was going to be all that good when he came up um, and so far this year he's proven me wrong but uh, we'll have to see what happens with him but watched him play a few times he's a heck of an athlete uh, I picked up a couple of Paul Goldsmith rookies this is the 2011 Topps update uh, I believe these were around $14 or $15 a piece after shipping and everything. I think one of them was 11 but then I had to pay a couple dollars shipping or whatever in taxes. So, pretty cool card there. I think he's got a lot of potential. Could possibly be a Hall of Famer one day. So, I wanted to pick up some of those. I also picked up Tim Anderson. A lot of his cards. Um, and a lot, I got this one. And some prospect cards, last rookie cards, and uh, some binder cards of his. But he's solid, man. What's he won? Two batting titles, something like that. Solid player. Um, I didn't have any of his rookie cards in my collection until I, until I bought these. So I'm super psyched to have uh, a couple of Tim Anderson rookies. This is from the Update series in 2017. Um, so psyched to have that card. Uh, along with that card, I think I, I bought a lot for like 12 bucks. It had his rookie card. It had these cards. 2000, what is that? Is that a 13 Bowman? 14 Bowman, I guess. Um, and then, oh, that's actually, this. that's a 13, I think. That's a 14 Bowman. And then that's a 15 Bowman. Um, so, super psyched to get some Tim Anderson rookie cards heck of a player and then also picked up his heritage rookie card I think this one ran me like seven bucks but a heck of a player I had to have some of his rookies in my collection a guy that is uh, very underrated picked up both of these for like eight bucks I believe is what I paid for these these are 2014 Bowman Chrome, Jose Abreu. This guy, of course, he was MVP last year, and he's having a heck of a year this year also. RBI machine. Really like him a lot. Both of those cards. Like I said, I think they ran a total like 8 bucks with shipping and everything, so couldn't beat that. These Bowman Chrome rookie cards are, are actually uh, rising in popularity. A lot of people like these uh, these Bowman Chrome rookie cards. Um, and then I picked up this next lot from Mr. It Cometh the Egg, one of his live auctions, Mike Trout, picked up Mike Trout lot, this is pretty cool, it's got the stars on the side here, it's not a number card or anything like that, but pretty cool card to have, and then I got this shiny Mike Trout here, the sparkle in it, check that out, I think all these ran me 25 bucks, there's a Diamond Kings, there's an Elite Donruss. And then I got a Prism Stargazing Mike Trout. So it's cool to pick those up from Come With an Egg in his live auctions. You need to check him out. And then I picked up this Bryce Harper Topps Chrome rookie. Uh, when I picked this up, he was actually tearing it up. He was, he was, uh, 
I think it's, he had around seven or eight home runs. I think he was leading the league at that time, something like that. But anyway, I didn't have this card. Um, the reason I picked this one up is I ordered off of uh, COMC a couple of his graded cards like this, an eight and an and a eight and a half, and uh, they're like I don't know forty dollars, you know forty two dollars a piece or something like that. And they said it's not going to be delivered till till August. So I was like, well, crap. So I found this one, and I think uh, I gave just as much as this one for this one as I did the graded ones. It was around forty bucks shipped. So, um, but still a cool card to have. I think Harper's going to bounce back. Guy's a future Hall of Famer, and that card is uh, growing in popularity. So that's all I got for this time, guys. Please uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think your favorite card is. Leave me some comments. Give me some thumbs up. Really appreciate those. And uh, keep on collecting.